gotta stop those robots before they wreck the whole city. Come on, everyone. It's time to use robotics. Yeah! Whoa! Robotics step one. Design our robot. I know. Let's give our robot legs so he can run and jump. Drag over the robot legs to start building. Great! Now, let's give our robot a big, powerful body. Now drag over the robot body to continue building. Awesome building! Oh, oh, and what if our robot could have super strong arms? All right! Now we're ready for robotic step two. Build the robot. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's build these robot parts on me. I'll be a robot monster machine. Drag Blaze over to the robot parts to turn him into a robot monster machine. Robotastic. I'm Robot Blaze. Wow. Okay, even I have to admit that's pretty cool. Hop in, AJ. <laughs> We're ready for robotic step three. Code our robot. Coding means giving instructions to a robot. Let's code Robot Blaze to run and then lift. This symbol will tell Robot Blaze to run. This symbol tells Robot Blaze to lift. And this symbol tells Robot Blaze to smash. Which two symbols should we pick to code Robot Blaze to run and lift? Great. That symbol will code Robot Blaze to run. That symbol will code Robot Blaze to lift. Great coding! Coding Robot Blaze to run and lift. Yeah! All right! Come on, AJ. Time to save Axel City from those wrecking robots. Let's go for it! Uh-oh, that throwing robot is throwing two things this time. Help me code Blaze's arms to do two smashes. Which of these is two smashes? Yeah, that's a group of two. So our new code is go, smash, smash, stop. Go! The throwing robot is just up ahead! Blood nuts! He just threw four things! Which of these is four smashes? Yeah! That's it! Alright! So now our code is... Go! Smash! 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 Stop! Go! There's only one robot left to find! The Blasting Robot! We can stop him because we've got... Robot, robot Power! Look at the place! You're the robot! Hubcaps! There he is! The Blasting Robot! Whoa! His blast is really powerful! Check it out! This robot sends a powerful blast from an opening in his belly. But if we can plug that opening, he won't be able to blast anymore. Which object will fit over the belly of the blasting robot? The wheel or the box? Yeah, the wheel. Awesome job. Thanks, little friend. with a force of nine. And 
my force is five. Which is more, five or nine? Nine, yeah! The robot's blast has more force! We need more force to get past the blasting robot. To give Blaze more force, let's give him blazing speed. force went up to 10. And the robot's blast is 9. Which is more, 10 or 9? 10! That means I've got more force! Yeah. <laughs> 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 You just stopped three wrecking robots and saved Axel City! Is there anything you'd like to say? I guess I want to say that whenever there's trouble, I'll always be here to help. I'm Robot Blade! Look out! Look out! Let's get out of here! Upcaps, what's making all that noise? Oh no! Look! Toys! And the only way to make them shrink small again is to push the green buttons. See? There's a green button on top of all of the toys. Well, then we've got to catch those giant toys and shrink them down to size. We need to stop those giant toys. What color is the button that makes them smaller again? Right. It's green. <laughs> yeah. Toy train spilled soapy water all over the road. Well, we can't drive through a slippery spill, so to catch that train, we'll have to clean it up. We'll use absorption. Absorption is when something pulls in a liquid like water and holds it inside. Take a look. Things that are good at absorption have lots of spaces in them. When you clean up a spill, the water fills those spaces and stays inside. Which do you think can absorb the water? A pencil or a sponge? Okay, let's put it in water and see. <sighs> nice work! Uh oh, but it just made another big spill. And this time it's super slippery orange juice. Which do you think can absorb the orange juice? A frying pan or a towel? Awesome! Wow, that's absorbent! We did it! Yeah! Oh no! To press that green button, we're gonna have to get through one last spill. A puddle of super slippery chocolate milk! Which do you think can absorb the chocolate milk? A wrench or napkins? Let's see. Great work! Yeah! We did it! And there's the giant toy train! AJ, give me some speed! <laughs> we pressed the shrink button! And look! The toy train is getting smaller and smaller! Check it out! There were three giant toys, but we just shrank the train. How many giant toys are left? Two, yeah! The dinosaur and the octopus. Come on, monster machines! Let's find those toys! Yeah! Look! There goes the dinosaur toy! It's stomping through that junkyard! We've got to hurry and press that shrink button to make it small again. This way! I'll take it from here! 
Electric Star! Aw, you're actually pretty cute now that you're not making a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look. We shrunk the toy train and the toy dinosaur. How many toys are left? Right, now there's just one giant toy left. The water squirting octopus. This way, everyone. Let's go find that octopus. Yeah! It's over there on top of the tallest ride. And it looks like it's about to blast more water. Oh, oh look out! Water drops! Ah. Let's get out of here! Phew! That water blasting octopus is making a huge mess. We've got to find some way to get up there and shrink it. Before we get hit by a giant water drop. Whoa! Phew! I wish there was some way we could absorb those giant water drops. To soak up all the water, we need something absorbent. Should we clean up the mess with a mop or a tire? Yeah, the mop is more absorbent. Mops can pull in lots of water. That's why they're so good for cleanup. Look, it blasted out one drop. And here come two more. How many drops are there all together? Three! Yeah! It's absorption time! One, two, three! Yeah! Way to use those mops! The octopus toy is about to blast even more this time! Two drops, plus one drop, and two more! How many drops are there all together? Yeah! Ready, set, absorb! One, two, three, four, five! Yeah! We did it! Now there's only one thing left to do. Press that green button and shrink that octopus. But we better hurry. It's getting ready to blast the most water yet. Come on, Watts. It's time to use blazing speed. Oh, yeah! To give us blazing speed, say, let's blaze! Let's blaze! <laughs> Little octopus, I think you're the perfect size now. <laughs> Good work, team! We saved Axel City from the giant toys! Yeah! And now that all the toys are the right size, I know just what we should do. What's that, Gabby? Let's play! Absorption! Uh, absorption! Pull, pull a liquid in, hold it inside! Absorption! Absorption, pull, pull that liquid inside. Like a sponge, like a mop, like a fluffy, fluffy towel, or a real shaggy dog. What? Filling up tiny pores till that liquid is absorbed. You just gotta squeeze it out so you can make room for more. Absorption, uh, absorption, pull, pull a liquid in, hold it inside. Absorption, uh, absorption. Thanks for playing! Absorption! We need to help Blaze deliver medicine to the doctor, bricks to the construction workers, and water to the firefighters. We're gonna need a special vehicle to make all those deliveries. Let's turn Blaze into a big rig so he can carry the mass of all those deliveries. Great job! To be a big rig, first I'll need a trailer to hold all that heavy stuff. Drag over the trailer to help build Blaze's big rig. Awesome! Now 
let's add the dual tires. Dual tires help Blaze pull a heavy trailer with a lot of mass. Great job! Last, I need a diesel engine to give our big rig enough power to haul it all. Now drag over the diesel engine to complete Blaze's transformation into a big rig. Great job! A big rig monster machine! Big rig roll! We have to get across that drawbridge. Lowering the drawbridge! It's not coming down! The bridge is stuck! Don't worry, AJ. I know how we can make the drawbridge come down. We can push it down. We can put things on the bridge that have a lot of mass. Mass is all the stuff that makes something heavy. Things like rocks have a lot of mass. That's because they're made of heavy particles packed together tightly. But something like a muffin has lighter particles that are all spread out, so they don't have much mass. Do you know which object has more mass? The steel beams with a mass of 10 kilograms? Or the pool noodles with a mass of two kilograms? Yeah, the steel beams have more mass. Look, the drawbridge is starting to come down. We need more mass to push the bridge down. Which has more mass? The stuffed teddy bears with a mass of three kilograms? Or the anchors with a mass of nine kilograms? Good thinking, the anchors have more mass. Big Rig Blaze has a lot of mass too. Let's add him to the bridge to lower it. Great job. Here you go, Dr. Rashi. One extra large box of medicine. Get ready to feel better, everyone. Remember, we need to make three deliveries. And we just got the medicine to the doctor. So, what's the next thing we have to deliver? Bricks, yeah. We need to bring bricks to the construction workers. We've brought the bricks! We did it! Come on, crew! Let's get to work! We did it! We built an ice cream shop! Yeah! yeah. Alright! Check it out! We just got the bricks to the construction workers. So now there's only one thing left to deliver. The water tank! Who do we bring the water to? Firefighters, run! <gasps> Look out! Lug nuts! Those rocks are blocking the path. But then how are we gonna get water to those firefighters? Looks like the only way we can get past is to smash our way through with a lot of force. Yeah, and I know how we can get more force. We just need to make ourselves heavier so that we have a lot of mass. A mass of 100 tons! Let's add some of our Monster Machine friends on top of Blaze so we have more mass. First, let's add Dr. Rashi. Nice! Heard you needed help, Blaze, so I came as fast as I could. Thanks, Doc. Climb aboard! Let's see if Blaze's mass is 100 tons now. Is that the number 100? No, that's 60. We don't have enough mass yet. Let's add the construction workers next. Super! <laughs> Thanks, you two. Is that the number 100? No, that's 80. That's really heavy. But to smash through the rocks, I need even more mass. Almost there. Let's add the gorillas now. Cool! Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Thanks, gorillas! 
Let's see what my mass is now. Is that the number 100? Yes! I'm 100 tons! Hang on, everyone. It's smashing time. Go, Blaze! Thanks for the help, everyone! Blaze, look! It's the smoke from the fire! We've got to get this water to the firefighters fast! Activating Big Rig Blazing Speed! To give me blazing speed, say, Let's Blaze! Let's Blaze! Go, Blaze! Too. So am I. <gasps> but look who's here! It's Big Rick Blaze! <laughs> Release the water! Woo he did it! Yes. The fire's out! Thanks, Blaze and AJ. We couldn't have stopped that fire without you. You're welcome, firefighters. Just remember, whenever you need something important delivered, you know who to call. Big Rig Blaze! Yeah! Oh, yeah! yeah! Thanks for playing! Matters inside everything. If you got a lot, it's a heavy thing. That's mass, 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 that's mass. Got just a little and you're feeling light. Lift off the ground, take it flight. That's mass, heavy and light. That's mass, you got that right. That's mass, solid and gas. That's mass, it all has mass. That's mass, I've got mass. She wants to play fetch. <laughs> oh yeah, playing fetch is her favorite. Come on, let's do it together. Gabby's dog Chassie loves to play fetch. Let's throw this bouncy ball really far for Chassie to fetch. To throw it far, let's click when the ball lands on green. Great throw, you're really strong. Whoa, looks like playing fetch got Chassie pretty dirty. <laughs> That's okay. She loves taking baths. Don't you, Chassie? Uh-oh, the bottle of bubble bath fell over. Gaskets, look! She's floating away in one of those soapy bubbles. The wind's blowing Chassie's bubble that way! Hubcaps! Oh, oh man! How are we gonna get past these pinching plants? Something with a lot of elasticity! Check it out! Things that have elasticity change shape when you push or pull on them. And then they go right back to the way they were. And that force is what makes you bounce. Maybe using elasticity will help us bounce over the pinching plants. Which one is bouncy? The cardboard box or the trampoline? Yeah, the trampoline. It has a lot of elasticity. Go for it, Blaze. <laughs> and we're going to need a lot of elasticity. 
Which of these do you think has more elasticity? The bouncy ball or the basket? Yeah, it's the bouncy ball. It has way more elasticity. Great work. Elasticity! <laughs> yes! Switching to visor view. Do you see Chassis over here by the flowers? No? Let's look someplace else. Do you see Chassis by that big waterfall? <coughs> yeah! There she is! <coughs> Hurry, Blaze! I've got to get to that waterfall to save my puppy! I see a way we can help Chassie. Look! Bungee cords have a lot of elasticity. They stretch really far and go right back the way they were. We need a bungee cord that stretches to nine. Okay, let's see if the blue bungee cord has enough elasticity. Yeah. Does the blue bungee stretch all the way to the number nine? No, it only stretches to four. Let's try again. Let's see if this red one has enough elasticity. Does the red bungee stretch to the number nine? Uh-uh, it only stretches to seven. Chassie! Uh-oh, Chassie can't stay on that ledge much longer. It's starting to break. Let's try again. Okay, let's see if this green one has enough elasticity. Does the green bungee cord stretch to the number nine? Yeah! Now that Chassie's back, what do you say we all go and play? when it's dark out, we'd need to have lights. I think I've got just the thing. First, let's open Gabby's toolbox. Cool. Blaze needs energy to turn on the lights. Which of these items has the energy to power up lights? A pair of socks? Sorry, that's not right. A pencil? That won't work. Or a battery? Yeah. Good pick.
the light thief went through that tunnel, but there's night chickens in it. Night chickens only like to come out when it's dark. So, let's use our speed lights to make the tunnel really bright. Yeah, light is energy you can see. So if we send more energy from our battery into our lights, they'll shine bright enough to chase away the night chickens. Come on, let's try it. Let's help give Blaze more energy by flipping the switch whenever he says chicken. Are you ready? Chicken! Great work! Let's do that again! Awesome! Chicken! Great work! Give me some speed! Please, look out! Yeah. Hubcaps, we're trapped! Oh no! We've got to find a way out of here! What we need is something super strong that can cut through these metal pipes. Something like a laser! Let's help Blaze cut through the pipes by dragging over these three parts. One. Flash tube. It's the part that makes light for our laser. <laughs> Let's add another part. Two. Crystal rod. It turns the normal light into special laser light. Three. The mirrors. They bounce the laser light back and forth until it gets super powerful. You just built a laser. You're so smart. Monster machine. We're cutting through metal with light. Laser light! Yeah! We're free! Give Blaze's laser energy by counting to four. Watch out, Blaze! That crane just dropped four pipes! You ready? Help me use my laser to cut through all four. Count to four with me. One! Two! two three! Four! <laughs> All right! Way to use that laser! We made it! Now nothing can stop us from catching that... Light thief! thief. <laughs> there she goes! Hang on, AJ. Time to catch that light thief once and for all. make our light super bright again so we can find the light thief. Give Blaze energy so we can use his light to find the light thief. Do you see her? In that popcorn, yeah! Thanks yeah, for the help. They found me again! Hubcaps, the light went out. Let's give it some more energy. Can you see her now? By those stuffed animals! <laughs> Caught the light thief! Yeah! Oh man! Bringing all those lights back is gonna be a big job! Don't worry guys, AJ and I can put these lights back super fast with blazing speed! To give us blazing speed, say, let's blaze! Let's You helped us catch the light thief. Light is energy that you can see. And energy helps power all sorts of things. Thanks for playing Blaze's Science Adventure. See you next time. You can ask your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Blaze and the Monster Machines YouTube channel for new videos every week.